everyone. I'm Su Yen, and we are at Yunnan Baiyao in Kunming, the capital of Yunming, or uh, Yunnan province. And I'm here with Jin Xing, who is a researcher in the R&D department. Do you yeah. want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Jin Xing. I'm working in Yunnan Baiyao uh, in the R&D center. I'm a researcher. Yeah. And if you haven't heard of Yunnan Baiyao, it is one of the biggest traditional Chinese medicine companies in China. And it's most famous for its baiyao, which is a, whoop, we're going to walk through, <coughs> which is a white powder. Um, and it was invented in 1902. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. <coughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the doctor who invented the powder? Yeah, the doctor, uh, his name is Xu Huanzhang, who is an e-ethnic doctor in Yunnan province. And uh, he uh, collected the local herbs to uh, invented the new drug named Yunnan Baiyao to save many soldiers' lives. Yep. So the powder is actually used to help stop bleeding, right? That's what, you're, that's what yeah. you mean when it helps yeah, save soldiers' right. lives. <clears throat> um, and there's a famous story about the powder in terms of how it became so well known, right? It was used during um, World War II by Chinese right. soldiers. Can you tell us about um, how they used it and... Yeah, it uh, used in the war, and uh, when the soldiers get a uh, wound, get gun shot, and they will put the powder on their wound uh, cart, and it can stop bleeding right away. Uh -huh. So it became very famous in the soldiers. Yeah. So that powder, uh, Yunnan powder itself, was invented um, before penicillin was in the United States. And today, it's no longer just a powder, right? It comes in a bunch of different forms. What, what else does it come yeah, in? Yeah, it has many different preparations, like the capsules, capsule, a tablet, and the aerosol sprays, and, uh, and so on. Ah. And so the company Yunnan Baiyao has actually been um, taking uh, what's been really old, ancient tr uh, traditional Chinese medicine, these herbs, plants, and finding ways to integrate them into modern products. So you've probably heard of the uh, Baiyao infused toothpaste, right? What else um, are the newer products that the company is working on? Yeah, so we have the new product like the, ah. this one. Yeah, we infused uh, Penix Noto Jinsen into this product. Ah, oh, yeah. crazy. And also, these have uh, three other herbs used in this uh, drug. Ah, so this is the final form of what some traditional Chinese medicine might look like. But as you can tell, we're in front of a wall full of herbs and plants that the research team has put together. Um, we have another researcher who can, who can join us who actually knows a lot about what's on these walls. Do you want to introduce yourself? <coughs> uh, and you've been working here for how long? Uh, 18 years, right? Oh my gosh, 18 years. Um, so uh, Yunnan province is actually really diverse in terms of its plant life. It has over 6,500 plants or medicinal plants that are unique to the province, yeah. is that right? Yeah, right. Can you guys show me some of the plants that you can only find here? Yeah, you can see this. This is a Panax Notogenes oh. that we just mentioned. So this is a root of the plant. We, the plant can be used to stop bleeding also, while at the same time it can promote blood flow, therefore resolve the blood stasis. Yeah. Wow. So is this used in the Yunnan powder? Or can you tell us? <laughs> it's uh, used in this ah, product, yeah. I see. So it helps with blood flow. Wow, yeah. you can really smell it still. So this is a root? Yeah, this is a root of the... So it's also the medicinal part of the plant. I see. And you can find this um, only in Yunnan province, or it's the best quality here? It has the... Uh, yeah. Yunnan has the best quality of the Panax Noto Jinsen, and uh, most of the Noto Jinsen are harvested in Yunnan province. Oh, wow. Okay, what else is unique to this province? So that's Noto okay, Jinsen. We can also see this, uh, this one. This one oh, is... Oh, this one. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> this one can be used for corf. Oh, really? Yeah. 
uh, when you feel thirsty, and this one is for this this. See symptoms. Yeah. I see. So, how do people um, use it? What do you guys put make out of it? Uh, Tea or? Yeah, this <coughs> one can use the when when you drink water, you can put it in the water and just uh, drink it. I see. Yeah. And this is the stem of a flower, or yeah, the stem. Uh, or is it the whole? This is. This uh, is Oh, this is stem of the oh, Okay, plant. so the stem of the yeah. plant. Wow, that's fascinating. So this is for coughs, right? Uh, for when you're <coughs> thirsty. Ah. When you're thirsty, you can drink uh, this with water, warm water. Okay. Yeah. So this is the Latin name. It's, um, let's hope we got this right, Dendrobium offic officinal. Okay. <laughs> and also this one. Oh, this one right next to it? Yeah, next okay. to it. So this is Gastrodia alata, I think. Yeah, this one can be used for headache. Ah, let me grab it. Oh. Don't worry, yeah. we'll, we'll be careful. Oh, look at that. So this is like a big root plant, right? Oh, this was also the stem. Ah, okay. Big stem. <laughs> And sorry, what do you use it for? Um, what for is headache. Headaches. Yeah, uh. also the for dizzy. Oh, okay. Dizzy, yeah. Wow, we all need things like this. Okay. And then what else can we look at? We can also see this one. This one. So this is this the is whole, whole plant of this one. Oh, wow. So you can use the entire plant. Yeah, this entire plant can be used and also we use the extract uh -huh. ingredient from it to make uh, drugs. And uh, this one is used for promote blood flow. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you, you, it can be used for the uh, vascular damage after stroke. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is Aragorantis herba. And then it looks like there's a bunch of plants that have been classified, yeah, right? Can you tell us about this wall? Okay, this is samples uh, are collected, collected in Yunnan province. Yunnan is, uh, in, is a plateau, plateau of low latitude. So this, uh, this, like this one, this one is collect, uh, are collected in plateau, plateau area. Uh. So this, uh, uh, we collected the plant and we dried to make this sample. Yep. And so this is for your own research and to try to understand the properties of the plants better. Is that right? <clears throat> yeah. And these samples are used for classification for the plant. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this plant is uh, are collected in the subtropical subtropical area. Mm. Here you can see this samples. So um, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm interested from you guys, have any of you tried traditional Chinese medicine? Um, have you taken any? Make sure to leave us a comment and ask us any questions while we're here at Yunnan Baiyao. Uh, thank you so much for watching.